Hello. Oh, there's movement in the background. I guess the cat jumped up on the on the back of the couch. Say hi to Lucy. That's, that's our little Lucia Grace. She's our cat that we've had for about six months now, just a year old. Um, not a replacement for our cat that passed away in December. Uh, she's her own critter. That's for darn sure. Um, hi, it's Jay. It's Sunday, and that means it's my turn to get on here and try to teach you something. So, <laughs> it ain't going to be grammar, I'll tell you that much. We are going to talk today about a wonderful blend that I've had to use uh, in the past couple weeks a lot. Um, Lori will tell you, my wife Lori will, will tell you, I'm a stubborn old bear. There she goes again, what is she up to? Um, I'm, I'm very stubborn. And I'm kind of, it's not that I'm set in my ways, but a lot of times I refuse to ask for help because it's like, no, I'll, I'll do it myself. I'll, I'll take care of it myself. Well, I can't really do that now. I mean, having shoulder replacement surgery, which is what, I'm not wearing a seat belt. This is actually part of the sling. Um, I've been in it for two and a half weeks. Now I've got another four weeks to go in this thing. There is so much that I am unable to do. And it's, to me, very humbling to have to ask my wife, can you help me get my shirt buttoned? Or can you help me put my shoe on? Um, and, and it's just, oh, well, she's just making the rounds today. What are you doing back there? You silly cat. Anyway, sorry, getting distracted by the cat today. Um, it's... It's very humbling when you're a self-sufficient person, or at least you think you're self-sufficient, and you have to ask for help. Um, I always look at it as it's my job as Lori's husband to be the caretaker, to do things, to get things done around the house. I can't even do laundry or wash dishes right now, so I start to feel really low. I feel worthless. I feel like I'm not pulling my own weight, which is quite... A lot of weight, actually. Lori, on the other hand, has been very quick to say, you need to humble yourself. You need to not take so much on yourself and humble yourself a bit. Let someone else do something for you. That's where this comes in. I know that was a, a long intro for, for talking about an oil blend, have you tried humility? Humility is a wonderful blend. Very floral. Very nice. I mean, mm, I love the smell of it. I can get the... There's rose. There's ylang-ylang. Yang, there's geranium. You can definitely pick up the geranium in there. There's melissa. Mm, lots of good stuff. In fact, the list I've got right here. Coriander. Ylang Ylang, Bergamot, Geranium, Melissa, Frankincense, Myrrh, Northern Lights Black Spruce, yeah, I could detect some of that, Vetiver, Bitter Orange, and Rose. That is a powerful combination of oils. You've got some heavy hitters in there with Melissa and Rose and Frankincense and Myrrh, and you know some of these others are nothing to sneeze at either. They are really, really powerful oils. And when you combine them into this blend, Humility, it can really affect how you feel. I mean, like I said, I've, I've used this for the past two weeks. I've been slathering some on here and there, and I think my wife notices a difference. I'm not as, I'm not going to use the term depressed, but I'm not as hard on myself when I can't do something. Yes, I still push the envelope now and then, and I do dishes when I probably shouldn't, um, that's usually when the painkillers are taking effect and I don't feel that my shoulder hurts when I'm washing dishes. Um, but, you know, I'm just kind of a bad boy that way. Now, there's, there's a quote in Proverbs, in, if, in the Bible, Proverbs 11.2, When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. I'm glad that I have the wisdom and my wife has the wisdom to suggest humility for a stubborn old bear who's kind of prideful about getting things done around the house. You know. So, yeah, pride comes before the fall. Isn't that what they always say? Well, it's true. 
So humility really helps with that. It's a blend that was created to inspire greater awareness with those around you. And having humility in your life is very important. It's the first step in obtaining forgiveness. You have to humble yourself and not be so prideful and not be so stubborn if you're going to survive in a world with other people. You, you just have to. Um, and and this, is, this is from the webpage on Young Living when they give the definition of humility and some of the properties of it. The state of being humble. That's what humility is, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Now, both humility and humble have their origin in the Latin word humulus. And that means low, as in, you know, submitting, to be humble. Now, you're not necessarily submitting. What you're doing is you're accepting that there's something that's bothering you, or there's something you can't do, or there's something that, you know, you need to humble yourself about. You need to get off your little prideful soapbox or, or whatever and just accept that you're enough as you are. You don't have to try to boost yourself up in a, in a prideful way. And humility is a great oil to wear topically or to diffuse. Mm, I, I'd love the aroma. That also helps. It has a soothing, very calming aroma. It's a, it's a wonderful tool to have in your emotional work box with oils. And as I said, it's an I am enough oil. Don't try to push yourself too hard. Don't try to set goals for yourself that are totally obtainable and then be prideful about, you know, I'm doing, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to hit gold in two weeks, you know, something like that. You know, don't be prideful about it. Now, if you do it, great, but do it humbly because that's better for the heart. It's better for the emotions. It's better for those around you. And there's that old adage, you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. So if you're able to humble yourself a little bit with some humility, I think we'll get along a lot better with people. That's my um, experience here. I know that I can be kind of snippy when I'm not feeling good, especially now, when I'm not 100% or when I'm not even at 50%. And I can't do things. I feel miserable because it's like everything's on my wife now. You know, our kids are out of the house. The cat, well, she can't do much. You know, the turtles, they, pff, yeah, they're not going to do the laundry or wash the dishes or dust or vacuum. You know, everything's on my wife now, and it makes me feel really bad. And in a way, I feel, you know, if I do this, I'll feel better about myself because I'm helping out. No, I need to humble myself, accept the situation for what it is, wait it out, do what I'm supposed to do, then come back even stronger. So I've been using humility and it really has helped. It's an emotional oil. You breathe it in, it gets right into the limbic system of your brain, and that controls thoughts and emotions and memory. That's key in this. So just take a few drops, put it in the diffuser, take a few drops, rub it on yourself. You know, dilute it if you must. If you have sensitive skin, dilute it. Uh, the small bottle, the five milliliter bottle, is 3025 and that is the um, loyalty that is, that's the essential rewards loyalty price the discounted price and you will get 3025 in PV credits if you're on um, loyalty rewards if you just want to type in the number I mean you can type in humility in the search bar it'll take you where you need to go but if you're one of those people who loves numbers type in 3354 that's the SKU number 3354 for humility. Get it, use it, sniff it. It is wonderful. I I recommend this wholeheartedly. Yeah. I'd I'd give it, you know, a 10, but right now I can only do five because I can't get my other hand up high enough to to do another five. So I'll just okay, it's a 10. There we go. I recommend it. If you haven't used it, try it.
Until next time, hope you have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day. Enjoy your Labor Day. And uh, if, if you happen to have the day off, hey, kick back, relax a little bit, enjoy it. And we'll talk to you next time. Hope you have a wonderful week. Take care. God bless.